Hello everybody, my name is Parak, and in today's video, I got requested to go fight Amatsu with Pierce Bowgun, so I'm gonna go do exactly that. Alright, let's go. I imagine this is gonna be pretty relaxing, because there's not really a whole lot Amatsu can do to range in the first place. It's just gonna do less damage than uh, a bow, at least the bow build that I use. Also need a swap scroll. It's been a while since I used a Pierce LBG. Well, I guess LBG in general. I generally don't touch the bow guns all that much. Thank you. Oh, uh, it might be a little bit faster, actually. It's doing that much damage at range. It's close. That shouldn't hit me. Yeah, we're fine. Good AI to start with, actually. Which is very surprising. Very good AI to start with. Ah, okay. I was making sure I've got sliding or the, the counter. Because, obviously, I may as well keep the buff active if... Wow, that AI is fantastic. <laughs> that is the exact attack you want him to do repeatedly on a melee weapon. I'll take it. Okay. Fantastic. Keep shooting away. Yeah, I imagine this is going to be quite easy. Especially... Okay. Thanks for the, the random random hitbox. But that's alright. I imagine it's going to be quite easy because, again, Bo kind of deletes him as well. This just has more range. But I think the trade-off is obviously damage. Because it's only got a certain amount of like, ticks on this that it can use. Okay, thunder? No, ice. Well, water trails. Nope. Okay. Just keep aiming roughly at where his face will go back down to. This is the plan here. Again, kind of like the range, or the, the bow. Wow, you have enough distance to get out of that. Let's go. Oh, sweep. But he does it once for now, because he's not in his, like, super state. Nice and simple. I should have definitely used the the cannons. That would have been a lot of free damage with how long I think this might take. Nope. Okay. He's given us really good AI for if we were using a melee weapon. Can this beat the damage? It should be able to. Maybe? Yeah, easy. Okay. Easy stuff. Going up. Yeah. We just go above it. Nice and easy. Also, I don't know if this set is, uh, like the best it could possibly be. I don't feel like it is. Just if anyone's using it as a reference, because I know a lot of people do use my builds as a reference at points. I don't think this is, like, the, the best setup for it. There's probably much better. For example, Blood Awakening, I feel like probably pretty strong on Pierce in general, could obviously break quite a few parts. But... The issue is, ranged also don't heal that much from Blood Rite, so it'll take a long time to actually, uh... get enough healing to activate it at all. But that's alright. Sure you know that if you're using Blood Awakening already. That... random. Just like, completely turned to the side. Oh. Thought he was putting the tornado wall up. Nice and easy. Again, keep aiming generally towards his face, where his face will recoil. Because it'll mean you land, obviously, the most hits as soon as he goes back there. Ah, oh, it's super. Okay. It's like, he's either doing that or thunder from the sky, but that makes sense. Okay, does it twice. One and two. Keep shooting him. Use the trigger to pull out the gun so it doesn't have to reload. Even though I don't think it would have been too much of a loss, because you reload pretty quick in this game. That's fine. Now it's thunder from the sky and the blades. You just walk towards shouldn't ever hit you and then slap slap to the side with that one nice and easy keep on pew pew on do 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 oh grab that you can obviously hit the healing bats just for those that don't know if you don't want to put your weapon away you can swing at it and you'll be fine blades again schwa schwa no follow up this time Ah, I should have put Defines on here, because it doesn't have the counter. I'm surprised that worked. I went in the same direction that he came from. But we definitely take those. Tornadoes again? That's fine. Does the second one? Right there. Again, use the trigger to pull out the gun. He's sweeping. My cat got the Dragonator, though. Lovely stuff. Doesn't stay down long, but that's okay. Very, very simple. Ooh, let's go. Using it to reposition over here. 
because we were definitely not in line to hit his face with too many of the ticks. Obviously it's pierced, but we still want to make sure we can get as many hits of the good hit zone as we can. That's alright, we get wind pressured. Just jump over to the bug. Probably not the best idea, actually, to use a bug to get over there, but it is what it is. I'll say it was necessary, because it seemed a little bit slow. Because obviously you need to hang in the air, and having a second wire bug will help with that. Hop back towards him, shoot. Nice and easy. Oh, also, I do see this comment relatively often as to how it's using my, like, items and ammo without having to, like, scroll through it again. Like, having to select it again in the radio wheel. I don't know if it if it's just me. I usually use the crafting option instead of, like, using. And that might be why. Because for mine, it just crafts it and then uses it immediately. I don't know if for some people it doesn't do that. Surprised I got out of there. Happy I got out of there, but surprised otherwise. Oops, wrong ammo. Go. So yeah, if I was to use like both my max pots, for example, and then I craft max pots, I'd still have uh, it use a max pot instantly. Nope. He comes back. Nope. It's alright, keep shooting. Should be Valstrax relatively soon. Relatively soon. Also, I rolled back there because I like know I have enough distance. Ugh. Okay, we went over it. Nope, oh, nice, he did double orb. That could have been real ugly if he swept, actually. Because uh, that would have been very dangerous to be right under him. But that's okay. There's Risen Valstrex. Why did I go up? My brain is on autopilot, apparently. Whee! I guess I got a good cap. I guess I got a good camera angle for it. But that's alright. Pew! Again, if you use the cannons, same as last time, try not to aim it through Valstrax, otherwise Valstrax mount will break instantly. Because those hits count towards it. I've had it instantly break several times. Counter that, so he stops. It's unfortunate that Valstrax does so much less than what your weapons would normally do at this point, but I guess the free knockdown's worth it. Pew! Down there, pull the weapon out. Nice and easy. May as well get my buff active as well, even though he's going to go up in the air after this, I think. I imagine he phases straight away. He normally does with all the weapons I use, actually. Maybe? Nope. Oh, we rolled it. Let's go. Keep shooting away. Should go... Oh, okay. I guess we didn't do enough damage. Interesting. Roll again. Oh. That's why you don't roll that way. <laughs> You're gonna roll anywhere diagonal forward, but uh, that's fine. Do, 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 do. Yeah, as you can see, though, very comfortable set. Pierce with dereliction and bloodlust really isn't too bad at all. Like it's not dangerous in the slightest. I guess I'll stay down here, right? Yeah. I'll just chill down here. I do need to heal though. Oops. Heal. Because there's tornadoes behind me potentially, which there is. He'll appear in front of you, so just aim forward. That was weird. Okay. Yeah, as I thought, it, it's a little bit slower than bow. Even though I messed up a few times, it shouldn't be that much slower, I don't think. It just does more damage per shot. And obviously this is much safer, because you just sit here basically. Instead of having to actively try and dodge anything. At least with Evade Extender, because I always run Evade Extender on OBG anyway. One and two. Easy stuff. Let's get our buff. Nice and easy. Should go down very soon. No? Ah. Oh. I had a feeling. I had a feeling he was dead. But it is what it is. Pretty much went exactly how I expected. A little bit slower than just using a bow instead with Pierce. As usual here was the build. 
pretty sure it can be updated to be quite a bit better than this one, but it's just a very comfortable PS2 setup for LBG with all those skills there and a resentment four weakness exploit one with a three two and a one is a very solid talisman not even gonna lie about that here are all the skills and decorations of course all the green numbers are from decorations if you wanted to screenshot there and there you can well everybody that was taking on amatsu with a ps lbg as always thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you on the next one